After facing safety concerns from some Bronx residents, a controversial emergency response center for migrants at Orchard Beach is now moving. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says the facility will be relocated to Randall's Island due to flooding concerns. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook reports from Orchard Beach with more on what we know about this process. Well, in a statement released overnight, the mayor says Randall's Island is the better option because it provides better access to public transportation and is less prone to flooding. No, this is not the beach. What you're looking at is the parking lot to the beach that was completely flooded over in 2018. This is what nearby residents for days were raising concerns about. They also brought up conducting criminal background checks on the migrants. These people um, that are being sent here, they're not all criminals, but in any group this size, there's going to be a criminal element. The city heard their voices and has decided to take action. We don't do any uh, screening other than uh, finding out the needs of people and make sure that we properly give them the resources that they need. And we're going to provide the public safety. That's my responsibility. This morning, crews can be seen in the beginning phases of deconstructing what was built here at Orchard Beach as the materials will soon move more than eight miles southwest to Randall's Island. In a statement, Mayor Adams says emergency management determined, quote, relocating the Orchard Beach Humanitarian Relief Center to Randall's Island is the most efficient and effective path forward, and work is underway to make this move. Well, in the days ahead, residents who live near the beach here will start seeing those Structures in the parking lot get torn down. And the mayor says he expects the temporary shelter over on Randall's Island to be completed during the same time frame as what was initially planned right here at Orchard Beach. So for now, we're looking at at least one to two weeks. Reporting from Orchard Beach, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News.